Hey everybody, hey everybody, it's Patty with Get Press with Patty, and I am using the Budget Moms box set, Finding Happiness with What You Have Today. We'll save you from always wanting more in the future. Isn't that the truth? So I just want to go over with you my weekly paycheck here, and I'm still working out this camera stand thing. Oh boy, I don't know. I need my experts to come and help me with it. Just kind of understand how I'm doing it, I guess. So I did have some extra income come in this week, um, and that's why you'll see a larger balance. I'm starting off the account with $1,000, which, you know, I say this all the time. I'm trying to help a friend, um, you know, get into the budgeting thing to help her out, and I, and I really am here to answer any of my friends' questions or people that may, may watch my channel. And um, this, this method for me and for our family has meant more than the budget mom will ever know because honestly I just feel so at peace and to have a thousand dollars at any time in my account I don't want to say it's a miracle but it's darn close to it um because it's usually spent you know um you know and you know I could pay extra debt with it but I've you know I've said it before I like to roll over cash you know check from check because I want to be in a better place the next week or I want to be a better place in a month from now. So I will put some money in savings. Um, we need to start funding. We've actually already started funding a medical account because our health insurance isn't that great. I'm making more money in the current job I'm in and I worked hard to get there. And, you know, things are lining up. The planets are aligned. And I think when you have that mindset that things are going to go okay, they do. So just, if you're starting the journey, just breathe it all in, get a mentor, have somebody help you, um, you know, get you to a good place. And sure, you can do your lunches and you can go out to friends with friends and you can go for that drink, but something else has to give or you have to get a side hustle to pay for the extra stuff you want to. And that's, Especially if you have more bills than what your com your income is or inflow, right? Because it doesn't have to be income. It can be inflow, the money coming into your account. All right. That's a me off my soap soapbox. So we started the account with $1,013. Um, we got an extra $400 for child care expenses for next week. That's inflow. Uh, my check this week was $452.08. Um, plus $100 that went right into the joint account to help bills over there. And then my other part-time job was $159.68. So yes, we're starting the account with $2,000. That's great, right? So let's go ahead and spend it intentionally. So right away, I, I put $200 in a rollover, and I keep that there in case we need it someday. Old Navy, I paid $200 on the credit card, $200 on Amazon. My husband's credit card was $100. I spent stickers. I spent money on stickers. I had two side incomes come in this week and they amounted to $90 in another account. So I put that here that I bought some stickers this week. I got Max his pup box. I do the pup box once a month for him um, until he's a year, I think. But it's $36, you know, he deserves it. And then I had a medical copay yesterday at a doctor's visit for $90. That's why we need to start. We, we put down, and you'll see it over here, uh, way to go. So right here at this alley account, it used to be $20 a week and now it's 50. So what I do is I put $50 aside automatic transfer into alley on a weekly basis. 30 will go into the medical account. 20 will go into regular uh, savings for household maintenance or something else. My sinking funds are the same for February. The, my word of the month is love and the letter this week is V. So I had to put $22 aside for that. My February savings challenge is 25. BJ's, I put $100. We're planning on going tomorrow. Our budget is 135. Four sinking funds at $5 a piece. Not bad. It, it grows. $20. My daughter's birthday is not till August, and I already have $90 saved for that. That's what you do, is you put a little aside. Even if it's $2, it adds up. And it'll give you, it'll that $2 will grow into $10 in no time. And you'll feel proud of yourself that you were able to save $10. I know it's not a lot, but please, just start small. Date night, $50. Uh, and then the savings challenge, you know, I, I want to get that 50-50 savings challenge done this year. So I put $100 in that. And then up here, 
uh, groceries. I'm budgeting 25 for the week that we will debit. I don't think we will spend that. We might need half and half, and that's the only thing I'm going to buy because our freezing pantry is full, and that's where we need to eat first. Dine out. I have no extra. I have $63 rollover from last week. It's eat the $63 worth. You're not getting any more. $20 for piano and then extra child care next week is going to run us about $250. So that's why that's there in cash so I can pay my child care providers um, $250. And then gas. I'm debiting um, gas for my husband and I. And I'm figuring it's going to be about $60 this week. So really that is it. There is about a $500 balance left. Um, you know, if something comes up during the week, if Grace needs is on vacation this week, if the sitters want to take her somewhere, then I feel comfortable going to the bank and giving her $25 or $50 so they can do something with her. Uh, and then this is my cash envelope breakdown that I went to the bank today and I took cash out for these things and I stuffed my envelopes. So really that's it. My money thoughts for this week is really simple. I love my new job. I'm happy. And I do work two jobs. I do have two side gigs a month. And, you know, I, I just feel at peace with money and finances. And that's really where I want anyone that I work with or mentor to be as well. And that is all thanks to da -ba -da -da, The Budget Mom. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Have a great weekend.